Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Did I say... I've said Dragon Age Origins. I think I said it in the last episode of the, my outro, which I've just recorded as well. Uh, I'm not playing Dragon Age Origins. I'm playing Dragon Age Inquisition. The why I said Dragon Age Origins is completely beyond me. Um, it's one of those things, isn't it? Just a uh, slip of the tongue. Uh, it happens. Right. So we're going to try and get up, up this mountain as there, are, there is apparently an Australian up there. And after the massive success I had beating the last Australian, I feel like I, sh I, should, I, should, I should definitely take on this one as well. I feel it is going to be easy, simple, and it's not at all going to make, make me want to tear my hair out. No, not, not even in the slightest. It's going to be very, very easy for me to do. I'm, I'm going to nail it first time. First time, telling you right now, first time. Easy. Not not a problem. I'm sure so, uh, many of you watching this are sitting, sitting here now going, no, no, you know, he's lying. He's lying. There's no way he's going he's gonna to do this, this Australian first time. But I'm telling you right now, this Australian is going to be so much easier than the last one. It's not even funny. It's going to be, it's going to be simple. Because this clearly, judging by its position is the first one you're meant to do, so that means it should be the easiest. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, I do have a codex though, so I'm gonna read that first. To give myself to give my, to, to get my mind thinking before I take before I, I do I do the Australian. Is that assailant's blade any good? I don't think it is, but I'll have a look anyway. Mm, no. Right, good to know. Right, okay. The codex. I I'll get there guys, don't worry. Prophet's Laurel, wasn't it? According to all Legion folklore, Andraste's followers and sympathizers tossed springs of the laurel in her path as she was led to her pyre. After she burned, her ashes blew across the leaves on the ground, bestowing upon them fame purifying qualities. It is just a tale, of course. The laurel was recognized as a healing herb long before Andraste's time. Ancient Tabinta scrolls described the use of the laurel in pulses, tinctures, and even incense. Though the legend might be pure fabrication, the laurel will always be symbolic of Andraste's sacrifice. Its glossy dark leaves represent the sword of mercy, the red berries, the drops of her blood on it. Very, um... Very philosophical way of viewing. That... That's that dragon who keeps howling in the, in the background, isn't it? I'm sure it is. I, I can see it! You can just see it if you gaze. That's crazy, that is. That's actually really, really crazy. And then, uh, speaking of crazy things, we have this goddamn Australian, right? What are we doing with this one? Right, this this looks simpler. But. <laughs> but, right, okay. I might have an idea how to do this. We go there. Then there. Then there. Then. There. Then there. Then there. Then there. Then there. And there. And there. And there. Then there. Then there. See? First time. I told you all. I, I, you, you doubted me, didn't you? You doubted me. You doubted me. How dare you doubt me? I'm, I'm joking. I, I doubted me strongly as well. Right, referred to as the Chain Man in common parlance, the constellation Savani is traditionally represented by a man dragging a heavy chain behind him. This is thought to be an ancient Tavinta representation of both of Andoral, the old god of slaves, and of the Tavinta system of slavery itself. The representation of Savani has been used by the Trisalis Guild for well over 2,000 years, according to their claim, and is visibly imprinted upon the armor of both Druganos, the giant golem's guard in the uh, city of Minrathus. Alright, so that's two of those Australians done. We just need the third now. I think it might be three in all of the areas, to be honest with you. Right, so let's go south. Right, let's go Shard here. We'll get that first before we go any further down the coast. Because if we go too far down the coast, that thing's waiting for us. So we need to make sure we, we get everything first before we do anything else. As I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty worried. Um... Yeah, that thing is absolutely terrifying. Uh, right, so it looks like there could well be a dragon in most areas of this place, actually. 
That's good to know. Oh, hello, Dorian. You came out of nowhere there. Right, collect the shard. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Um. I mean, do, do, do we just do we just go? I feel I should I should have came equipped with more health potions. Yeah, I feel I should have could have came equipped with a lot more health potions. I mean. Holy shit. I've got to save the game here. Oh, I can't save. Right. Um. What if I was to just loot this this guy? Oh, the dragon flew off. Right, everyone move. Everyone may have to very... Holy shit. I... A giant, no shit. Get your damn hands off those rocks. Aha! We, we hit him in the feet, he's down. Kill him. Oh, wow, we did kill him. We, we killed him hard. Right, that's... Good, then. Okay. We're in critical damage. What is that? Why can I still hear it? Why? What the shit is happening here? Don't know what to say about that. I don't know if the game thinks the giant's still alive. But, I mean, I can assure you it's it's dreadfully confused if it does. Or if it's like an ancient giant which is now haunting the coast. <laughs> but regardless, um, that's a bit weird. It's a bit on the odd side for, the, for this place, to be honest. Well, it's good to know that, that we're likely going to have to fight a dragon at some point if we, if we keep on going uh, down the way we are. So that's exciting. And terrifying at the same time. I mean, we, we are progressing well in terms of levels, but still, when it comes to dragons, always be, oh, oh, I'm always slightly concerned, you know? Right, so how long is it going to take the, the, this rift to spawn enemies? Because it took a while before the last rift actually started pouring them out. I don't know why, but it did. There we go. Spirits. Spirits everywhere. Right. Of course, I was poison. Might as well. I don't think we can poison uh, spirits, but you know. So we can't. We might be able to poison these dudes. That, that uppercut attack, when, when executed well, is, is sweet. It's a sweet attack. I am, I am I am a large fan. Right, close that rift immediately before we start getting harassed by demons again. There we go. Is that all, all the rifts on the that is all the rifts on the coast. There, that's clearly this is not the most polluted region in terms of uh, rifts and such then. Alright, might as well go and get this other shard then. That's just a little bit further down the coast. 
very dark and gloomy island on the, on the back in the distance. That's that's oh that oh that is the uh, where the the overlook is. Looks like Mist Island from here. Now I'm not subtly advertising my 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 new West flavor Mist at all, and I wouldn't go and watch it because it'd be there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and when I mean that, I don't mean like you'll be you'll you'll start binge watching them because it's such a great series. I mean that you'll be there for a while because I'm gonna take a fucking age of solving all the damn puzzles in there. Right, collect shard. There we go. We can unlock more doors in the in the, in the Oasis, but we're not in a hurry to do that because I think it is just mostly some special buffs and such. We clamber our way up to this cave here. Oh, it might be a little bit too far for us. Maybe. Yeah, it's just a bit too far. Unless, can we get on these? You've, you've, you've got to love it, haven't you? you? You've got to love the incredible way of, 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 of um, navigation in this game. More in steps. It's not uncommon to enter a cave nestled in the basalt columns of the storm coast and discover traces of ancient dwarven architecture. Prized the first age, the dwarven people maintained a sizable presence on the coast. Mining guilds were drawn to the area's then plentiful mineral deposits. All dwarven activity ceased when darkspawn incursions forced the deep roads to be sealed, severing the region from Ozima. Right. Uh, okay. Let's just head in this cave and see what's in here. Spiders! Yay! I love spiders so much. I love spiders bits. Spiders are, are in my top 7,321 things in the world, really. Thief stalkers as well? Yep. There's all manner of beasts down here. Good to know that I have leveled up though, so. Right, it's heavy free army armor. Nah, that's probably not as good as Cassandra's, is it? I don't think. Nah. Not a problem. Right, let's uh, level up my guy. He's level 11 now, I think. He certainly is. Right. Um, What have we got? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get Dance of Death. Just so we can get these two, which which will be good for us. Right, there we go. Level 11 already. What a time to be alive. I don't know what the level cap is in this game, if there is even a cap. I think, was it was it 20 in Origins? I, can't, I don't even know. What, I can't even, even remember what, what it was in 2, to be honest. Excuse me. 1 is not quite certain. Ooh, excuse me. Delish Hunter Bow. More spiders. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, guys. If you wanna ever come and give me a hand, I'd be greatly appreciative of this. Although, we, yeah, we, we literally just took down two spiders on our own, so I mean, maybe we don't actually need any, any help. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we are just that good. Who knows? Nah, seriously, we, we, we could probably do with some bio members down here. Ah, I don't know why they're all over there. But, yeah. Right. Oh, for crying out loud, honestly. Where is everyone? Oh, hello, Cassandra. Where did you come from? Please explain how you got down here. Right now. I want to know. I, I seriously, I'm very interested. I would like to I would like to know the answer to that. Because I'm I'm damn right I'm damn right confused actually. Them paid in candid dates. I haven't lost that wager yet. 
You said we'd be ass deep in trouble. This is more like knee high. I didn't specify whose ass, did I? <laughs> Leave it to a dwarf always lowering the bar. <laughs> nice one. I like that. That's 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 smart. Well done, Varric. I, I, I don't think I'd ever want to have a wager with Varric, to be honest. He he'd somehow oh floating pigeons. He he would somehow find a way to, to, to get out of literally everything, wouldn't he? Just somehow. Don't know how, but he'd do it. Small grove. Right, so where where are we on the map right now anyway? Okay. Right, so let's let's go and set up this camp. So we kind of have a place to work from. Seems a, ni a nice place anyway. Eventually, the entirety of the storm course will be ours. There we go. Oh, there, there, there is another rift. It's the, this is the falls, right? Gotcha. Not a problem. Uh, don't have anything. Cool. Uh, ah, we need to re resupply our potions actually while we're here. Right. Um. Can we head east? Are we able to head east? Yeah. Right, just for this, because there is a Memories of the Grey thing around here. Actually, there's two, isn't there? Yeah, there's two. Uh, saw this. I'm going to take the bold strategy of bringing Blackwall. Just to get his, uh, his, his approval ramped up. My party has disappeared, I don't like... The whole freaking heads-up display has disappeared. Clearly Blackwall took... T oh, Blackwall is invisible. Right now, that is... That's new. That's, that's, that's a weird one. Um, shield Bash. Dungeon Slash, yep. Charging bull, yes. Give him some stats to boost him up a bit. There we go, he's, he's actually alive now. Cool. Do we have anything which which is better for him? In terms of his, his, his equipment. Because if we do, I'd like to equip it on him. We must have a better shield. Yeah, we do. The Olesian Lion Shield. There we go. What about his armor? Yeah, that's definitely better. Definitely better. There we go. Cool. At least got him slightly better equipped for this. I don't like ditching Cassandra, not at all, but needs must. When it comes to Grey Wardens, it does make sense that that Black Ward's with us, I suppose. Him being a Grey Warden and all. Let's look around. It's a bit weird saying that. Oh yeah, we we like we have a Grey Warden in our party. That's not Alistair. It's not right, I tell you. Right, what's, what's all this stuff? A Grey Warden's just here. We go. He is not here. We have searched thoroughly and we will now move on. How how many days have I wasted here with whispers lurking at the back of my mind on this mad assignment? I pray we have more luck as we head south. After speaking with other wardens, I told the fishermen about the dark spawn we sense beneath the earth that they may not burst forth from the ground today or tomorrow, but I fear it will not be long and we will not be here when they finally surface. The fishermen were grieved at the news, but they decided to make for West Hill, which is safe for now. As for the fisherman who was interested in joining, I convinced him that now was not the time. Others might have told him otherwise, but he's too young to make such a sacrifice simply because he does not wish to throw a net in the water all his life. We shared one last night by the campfire, and he went on his way with a smile, humming the song of Andrew as he left. From pages torn loose from a journal found the storm, storm coast. They were here. It's good to know. Uh... 
But we may need a bit more than that to actually get anything solid. Um, yeah, right. I think we're going to end this episode here, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Thanks again, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.